In this exercise, we will be performing a thermal analysis or a heat transfer analysis on the heat sink. Start a new session of Discovery. Close the Welcome menu. Click the drop-down arrow next to Browse button and select Open Geometry file. Select the path to the location where you save the heatsink geometry file. Once you open the model, Discovery will be in the default Explore stage that we will use to set up our initial simulation. Heat sinks are used to dissipate the heat produced by CPUs in order to control the maximum temperature that the processors will reach. We will perform a heat transfer analysis to see how heat sinks effectively work. So let's import a model of CPUs to start the analysis. Go to the file menu indicated by the three lines to open the main menu and select Insert Geometry. Navigate to the directory where the cpus.scdoc file is located and open it. Three CPUs will be added to the current analysis. CPUs and each sync may not be aligned. The Move tool is already activated for the CPU's bodies. If you are using the heat sync geometry you created, Make sure that the top and bottom faces of the heatsink and CPUs are pointing in the same direction. Position the move handle on one of the bottom faces of the CPUs. Click on the vertical blue axis, select the option up to and then select the bottom face of the heat sink to make sure that the bottom faces are on the same plane. Then click anywhere in an empty spot in the window. Select again the CPUs so that the move tool is centered among the CPUs. Click on the translation arrow that points towards the heat sink. Activate the option up to and click again on the bottom face of the heat sink. Now the CPUs are centered on the base of the heat sink. The next step is to combine the two models to remove excess material from the heat sink. Select the combine tool. Click on the heat sink, then click the cutter tool option and click on each CPU. Then select the remove regions tool option and click again on each CPU to remove the excess material regions. Press the S key to close the heads-up display or HUD menu. Open the file menu and select Save As to save the model.